Hi, I'm Eric Jones, and you're listening to Verse by Verse. I'd like to begin with a question. What is humanity's future? Now, I know that's one of the biggest questions you could ask. But seriously, do you think humankind will continue to live and thrive on this planet indefinitely? Or do you see our existence on this planet coming to an end at some point in the future? It's interesting to analyze the many movies that have come out in the last 20 or 30 years that try to portray a fictional version of humanity's future. Many of them paint a very bleak picture. They often portray the future Earth being a very different place where humanity merely survives on the planet due to some catastrophic event. We generally call this genre dystopian. But it's not just literature and movies. Many very intelligent people also predict that humanity is heading toward a period of destruction, not progress. Some experts project the end of human civilization coming from one of the following factors. Environmental catastrophe, pandemics, an astrophysical event like an asteroid, warfare, overpopulation, or just complete societal collapse. And we could go on and on and on. But friends, this podcast is about the Bible, so let's now transition to two of the clearest scriptures in the Bible on this question of human survival. These scriptures are part of Christ's recorded words in the Olivet Prophecy, where he gave a general overview of humanity's future. So the question is, was Jesus dystopian or utopian in his view of the future? Well, the answer is both. Jesus prophesied of a coming time he called the Great Tribulation. He said this about that in Matthew 24, verse 21. For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time, no, nor ever shall be. Now, those who have studied just a little bit of history, even if it's only the history of the two world wars of the 20th century, should know that a time that is described as exponentially worse than those two world wars will be very, very awful. And if we want to go even farther back into history, we could find many other periods of tremendously awful warfare, famine, disease that were just terrible. But Jesus said this coming time will be worse, worse than all of those time periods. But Jesus didn't just leave us with a bleak forecast of human destruction. He didn't describe only a dystopian future, but he also provided hope beyond that. Hope that the dystopian period of the Great Tribulation will, thankfully, be temporary. Let's read his next recorded statement in Matthew 24, verse 22. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But, but, for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. This is where Jesus ceases to be dystopian. He provides a hopeful message that those dystopian days will be shortened. In other words, they will be stopped, cut short, ended. What would happen if it wasn't cut short? Well, he said, no flesh would be saved. In other words, humanity would destroy itself. And yes, that is possible. Right now, human beings can do that many times over. But that won't happen because God won't allow it to happen. Right when we're on the precipice of our own destruction, God will mightily intervene to save us from ourselves. As many other scriptures describe, he will do that by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to earth to put a forceful end to the wars and other destruction that will put humanity on the brink of its own destruction. He will stop it all. He will cut it short. He'll do that not just by stopping evil but by building an entirely new society built on the foundation of truth and righteousness. Yes, this is the utopian part of Jesus' message. So to wrap up this episode, should you view humanity's future as dystopian or utopian? Well, if you derive your worldview from the Bible, and we hope you do, in a sense you'll embrace both. You'll recognize that there is a terribly dark time coming, But you'll also recognize that time will be cut short. On the other side of that time, there is an incredibly hopeful future that will be brought about by Jesus Christ's return to earth. Will it be a utopia? Actually, it will be much, much better. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more. Thank you.